until you know exactly what you're dealing with, you don't really know the consequence of the heart disease. And that's where cardiologists can be so helpful is getting an accurate diagnosis. Just the murmur itself, that's just a noise, like when your car makes a noise. We just don't know until you look. And sometimes we look and we're like, there's something serious here and we need to be proactive about it. Cats are very different with their heart disease. Sometimes they sound totally normal. And when you look under the surface, they can have very, very serious things. have a very special guest, Dr. Mark Harmon. He is a board certified veterinary cardiologist at Boundary Bay Veterinary Specialty Hospital. Let's do this one. My dog has a heart murmur, but she seems fine. What does it mean? Yeah, I think this is a great question. So a heart murmur is generally just due to something like a leaky valve or maybe a hole in the heart, like a congenital thing that they're born with that shouldn't be there or a vessel that stays open. But really the consequence of a heart murmur, you cannot say, until you know what you're dealing with. So the murmur intensity or how loud it is, some people will assume that, well, if it's a soft murmur, then that's probably okay. And if it's a loud murmur, that's bad. But that's completely dependent on the disease that you're dealing with. So dogs that have dilated cardiomyopathy, those dogs often have very soft murmurs to potentially no murmur present. And they can have very serious heart disease. Whereas dogs with chronic age-related sort of changes to their valves in their heart may have murmurs for years and years and years and may never develop problems from it. Certain things with congenital heart disease, loud murmurs are actually better than soft heart murmurs. So until you know exactly what you're dealing with, you don't really know the consequence of the heart disease. And that's where cardiologists can be so helpful is getting an accurate diagnosis as to what you're dealing with and saying, well, this is something we do need to worry about or saying, you know, we're lucky. This very loud murmur is actually something that we are happy that it's a loud murmur in this situation because it's actually a very minor defect. So you really need more information to be able to make those best decisions for your pets as far as is this something we need to worry about or not. Yeah, just the murmur itself, that's just a noise, like when your car makes a noise. Exactly. You know, you need to find out what's causing the noise, get the diagnostics done, see a cardiologist, because then they can tell you what's causing that noise, how serious it is. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And not all noises that we hear when we listen to these animals are going to be significant. We love to give that news that thankfully it's something that's benign or that's not going to be a problem and that they can kind of go their day to day life. But at the same time, we just don't know until you look. And sometimes we look and we're like, there's something serious here. We need to try to yeah. get on this and, and be proactive about it. Yeah. So when the cardiologist is assessing it to try to see what's causing it, usually you're going to want to run special tests, just like a mechanic would do looking under the hood yeah, exactly. to see what, what's making that noise. We do ECGs because anytime you have any concerns about heart disease, arrhythmias or abnormal heart rhythms can be a problem or conduction problems within the heart. So it looks at the electrical side of things, whereas the echocardiogram looks into the heart and you can actually see how well is the heart pumping? How big are these heart chambers? How well are these valves working? Are there any holes that shouldn't be there? And so you can put that information together and say, well, these are the things that we have going on and determine its real significance. So an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart, yeah, an EKG to look at the rhythm. Really, those get us the vast majority of the way there for most cases. That's very helpful. Yeah, a lot of times it just comes as such a shock when dogs come in in heart failure and they're like, but he was fine. He's the fastest runner. Oh, but he's had that heart murmur. We see this all the time too on our side of things. Just like if you have a noise coming from your engine, if you keep driving around like that, maybe your car will still run fine until one day. And that's what happens when that hearts decompensate over time. If you do have a problem, it just gets worse and worse. And then eventually it turns into an emergency. Yeah, exactly. And I would say the addition part to that, because, you know, we're talking primarily about dogs in that situation, is cats are very different with their heart disease. They can have heart murmurs sometimes. They can have other heart sounds that we can pick up on, such as gallops that we can hear. Sometimes they sound totally normal though. So if pet owners look at their animals and they do feel like something's off with how they're breathing or anything yeah. like that, should definitely start by seeing their vets and potentially getting chest x-rays because cats can actually sound quite normal on the surface and then when you look under the surface they can have very very serious things going on so they're very good at hiding things from us that's really good to know